Hi, this is Russ from Studio One Expert, and we're going to be doing a number of videos to show you some of the new features in Studio One 4 and showing you how to get the best from them. The first one we're going to kick off with is patterns. And the new pattern mode, if you've not discovered it yet, gives you the ability, if you see here in the bottom, to create patterns in a sort of 909A to 8 style. Uh, you can do uh, anything, whether it's a drum part or whether it's a, a synth part. And I want to show you two parts I've put in here. I've put three parts, very simple, all made with patterns. First one is a drum part. Let me just play you that first. I want to talk you through this a bit and, and show you uh, how to get the best from patterns. The first thing is, if you notice that each part of a pattern can have a different loop length. So the kick is kicking and going around on 8, uh, the snare is going around on 8, uh, and then the other stuff is going around on 16, so any of those could be changed. So if we just wanted a straight 4 on the floor there with the kick, I could change that to 4. There's the 8 instead. What I can do as well is do things like shift it. So there's lots of features there. You can also do things like add accents as well. So if we could come in here and we just uh, press the uh, command key on our keyboards, then we can then add an accent. We just keep moving those up. Now, one thing I want to show you in particular is the closed hi hat section here. And I'm going to solo that for a second and show you what's going on here. There's a number of things being used in this to give it a lot more interest. Now, the first thing is you can basically draw in a very basic part, which you, which I've done there. It's just 16s, uh, and then you can obviously change the velocity like you would normally. But you can also see there's a few other things going on as well. The first thing is I'm using these repeat sections, and that enables me to add one, two, uh, several repeats to any part. Which is really cool, you can get some really glitchy stuff. Now the second thing you can do as well then, is then add probability, and probability is really cool, because it means that the chance of each of these parts playing will differ depending on the probability of it. So at 100% it's going to play all the time. But if we take some of these right down for a bit, and take, so let's say that, that, that there's a glitchy part there to about 26. There's another one here, I'm going to take that down a bit as well. There it was that time. So probability is really, really cool. Now the other thing as well is you can add other lanes in. So I've added in a, a hi-hat pan lane, and that's now sending the hi-hats all over the place. Between left and right, I'm just drawing those in. So anything could just be drawn in like this. So it's really, really powerful for creating parts. So as I say, And you can see there's accents in different parts where those white things are showing. Now at the top here as well, you've got things like you can change the step length, you can change the resolution, uh, the swing, the gate time. That's really useful when using synths. I'll show you that in a second on a synth part I've created. So that's a drum part being created with that. And then what we can also do then, of course, is we can copy them or add new ones, and we can have different parts. So there's verse 1. And here's the chorus. as you can see, it's really, really powerful. Now, what I want to show you is, I'm going to take a bit deeper now by showing you the synth part. Here's the synth part. And what I've done, basically, is created one variation. There's part one, variation one. And that's this is where I want to show you some of the, sort of the powerful things you can do. The resolution, resolution here is quarter steps. So listen to this. Nice Mai Tai patch. And what I've done is I've copied it, but then I've changed the resolution to eight. And what you could do is you can copy parts and just change the resolution. So I'll come to this one, and I've changed it to 16. 
What I've also done as well is I've added some repeats in uh, there and here. What I've also done as well is put some probability in as well. So as that patch goes round and round, different things play each time. So different notes have the probability of occurring. So if you're into synths and... So in a way, in, in, this is a slope sequencer basically, but when you start using it in its, all its power, you can create this thing. So this is one, one pattern. I've made three copies of it. Then I've changed the resolution length and added some probability into a couple of them as well. And you get this, just from one single pattern. And I just played this pattern in. So very, very useful. So that's really good. Now I want to talk to you about the gate length. We, I mentioned that a, a, a time ago. So if we come back just to this pattern. So the gate length is 200 at the moment, but we can pull that right down. And let me change that synth pad sound for a sec to something that's got a bit more length in it. That sound. Let's come back out of there. Now if we go in here now and we change the gate time, Bring the gate down. So you could make two patterns with different gate times on them. So that's got 200 on it, so we pull that right down again. And this fast one here. I want to pull that right down as well to something really short. And play that through again. And this really fast one, which is very like a sort of step arpeggio. So if you go back to the original sound now. And that is very straightforward and very easy to do. So that was created just by me playing just... Very, very powerful in uh, in step mode and the way I created that was very straightforward so if I come here and I'm just going to add another part in here command shift P new pattern part and I'm going to choose this which now puts me into step mode basically if I take my resolution down to quarter beats and I'm just going to play four chords in there we are let's play that now and halve the length of it scroll down now we'll find it there it is let me, let me make a copy of that now make this variation one again so here's variation one what I'm gonna do is variation two we're gonna change that to eights and double it so we could make that sixteens or high as you like, 132s. So what I can do as well then is if I change the step length here to four, so that's one part, we've just put them both together, one part and created this. If you want to edit a part without it keep disappearing, then you just need to switch off edit follows curse, and now I can work on one part like that part. And it won't keep moving each time I, I check the part changes in the arrangement. So there you are, that's pattern mode in Studio 1.4. Check it out for yourself. I'll see you again soon.